All right, guys, the truck is packed up, and I'm going to go up and see if I can pay and do a little exploring, as I said. It is a really quiet morning here. John, the uh, camp host here, and any of these spots anywhere in the park that are open, um, I'm welcome to take. Uh, they're closing up this weekend. Sunday's the last day, and the great thing is it's only ten dollars, um, you know, per site, because I'm not using water or electricity. So it has. Um, there's a lot of little cabins that you can stay in up here. I'm going up here to drop off the garbage and I guess that also up here there's a little meadow where you can camp up in here and it kind of overlooks the water. So I wanted to check this out too. Yeah, this is pretty neat up here. So these are all little camps that you can stay in. Overlooking the water right there. So these are the more remote spots. Nice. So yeah, you could take any of these spots in here as well. right down to the water right there and then you got these spots in here and they overlook the water I like this this is certainly remote you know for this campground great little campground uh, a lot more to it than I realized actually I think I'm gonna go check out the so I was talking to this guy John who runs this place and he said there is a town beach there's a place where you can put your boat in um, there is no lake you do have the river though we're gonna go to this quick stop first and get some um, coffee for sure I guess I'll get some uh, gas down from here I'm gonna turn down South River Road here and wow look at this old building that is cool This is nice, huh? This is beautiful. So this is the St. Regis River. And you know, you can put your boat in down here. I may just do that. I believe up here is the beach. I think we're gonna just pull right in here and just chill out for a little bit. So I'm parked right over here. This is the perfect spot. Uh, I'm just gonna chill out here for probably at least an hour or two because I'd like to do my workout this morning and I'll do that right underneath this pavilion here because picnic tables are perfect it's a great spot and got this really neat little beach here
that sits right on the uh, St. Regis River. And it's it's perfect because I'm the only I'm the one, one here. here. You know, the summer season is over with now. This place is gonna close up. Well, the campground's gonna close up this weekend. They pretty much shut everything down around here. That's what I've been told, you know. And so I'm just here to enjoy it by myself. Which is the way I like to do it anyway. I even got pull-up bars over here. This is gonna be a great place to get my workout in. And, you know, I can get my, my bath in right here. <laughs> quiet place up here, very quiet. Quiet little town with not, you know, too many businesses. You are up here, you know. This is three and a half hours from where I live. And it's not so much northwest, it's north central. So this beach can have 350 people. I don't know if it ever gets it or not. Um, no nudity. Darn. No boats, jet skis, or fishing in swimming area. Oh, that's good. Today's gym. So guys, I'm just thinking that, uh, you know, I always take my workout on the road or it's something that I can do when I'm on the road. Um, I do a series of push-ups. I'll show you what I do. The only weights that I take with me, which I don't even need to have, are these two 10-pound weights right here. But anywhere there's a playground is the perfect place to do this workout. And it involves, I'll show you right now, the two exercises that I do with the weights. What I do is I do 25 of each. I'll show you what I do. Here's the one exercise I do. I do 25 of those. I take a minute in between each rep. I go on to the next, the next exercise, which would be curls. I do 25 of these. And then I begin my, my uh, series of exercise again. That was the end of the, uh, the round. So this is my last round. And I'm going to start with what I do first, which is some pull-ups, which you can do on any, any playground. Playgrounds or parks, places where they have uh, picnic benches and things to pull yourself up on. Maybe some cement, hard surface, soft surface, all that kind of stuff. All you have to have is something to pull up on. That's all you gotta do. You can take that anywhere, right? You just find something to pull yourself up on. I do four sets of those. I try to do 10 each time. And like I said, I take a, a minute in between. I'm gonna walk over here and use this picnic table 
to do all my different types of push-ups. I'm gonna just show you the three types of exercises that I do. Again, I do 25 each of these. Of any exercise I do except for the pull-ups over there where I do 10. But 25 each with a minute interval or with a minute in between each, uh, each rep that I do. So I'm gonna quickly just show you which, each, which exercise I do. I get down like this and I do Twenty-five of those. Slowly, fully extend my arms. I don't do anything fast. Here's the other type I do. Perfect for a picnic table. Then, of course, your regular push-up. Which I do like this. Again. And then I do some sit-ups and I do a series of those, all different kinds, and I do between 40 and 60 of each of those and they take me 15 minutes to do. My whole workout, my whole workout takes an hour to do and this is a great setting and again, you can take this anywhere, do it any time of year. I do it in the middle of the winter, I just obviously dress warmer and you know, I get a little more, uh, oh gosh, what's the word? I get a little more creative with where I'm gonna do it. But it always works, all right. Freshen up right there. That's all I need. Just a little wash the face, wash the hair. So that's Ken, and that's his dog Ban Bandit over there. He's a local here. He's a veteran. He's been around the world three times. Uh, he's he's lived up here all his life, and he loves it up here. And everybody that lives up here likes it because it's nice and quiet. And there's not many people, and basically everything's shut down now. And it does get to 40 below up here in the winter time so crazy right yeah uh, okay we're gonna go take a little ride I did find out a little bit this road just goes around and comes back out to the main road and then I'm gonna go that way to um, I'm gonna go that way to get to the reservation brunch we're having two hard-boiled eggs and some potato rolls here talk about a great egg sandwich guys this perfect amount of bread and perfect amount of egg. And uh, that's great, it works out. There's no, no mess, easy to do. Mmm, really good. The sun is back out. And um, yeah, I'm still here at the beach for right now. It takes about 45 minutes to get to the reservation.